Hi guys, it's Jacob from Stringbuzz here. Stringbuzzworld.org being the music journalism site, links are in the description down below. And we have a brand new song review for you today, and it's the latest track by Louisa Johnson, and that's Best Behaviour. So I'm going to refer to the original article as I usually do for these videos, so I hope you enjoy. Now the latest Psycho project is going pretty darn well. I mean, Simon Cowell has picked the right artist here, and Louisa Johnson definitely has broken into the mainstream, especially here in Britain, with quite some force actually. Having said that, I'm not the biggest fan of her last few releases so we see how this track matches up in comparison to those releases in question. Well it's a bit dead for me really, for lack of a better word anyway. It's just so generic and chart pop orientating meaning it's very simple, it's very basic, it's very repetitive throughout the entire track and it's very temporary. I don't see people listening to this track in a month's time and I don't think they really care about that. At the moment it does feel like Louisa Johnson is almost growing to be the brand new pixie lot which means she's got a very in like capable set of pipes but the songs she's basically given are kind of boring. Uh, it's just your usual EDM pop crossover with a nursery rhyme song form, a two or three word hook, I think it was just two words on this track, and a synth breakdown, you know, made famous by the Chainsmokers. Nothing new as you can already imagine. Louisa sounds fine on this record but she doesn't sound unique or different and that's why I think this style is better for her in the bank than perhaps it is as her an, as an artist really. When it comes to the production of this track, I think the mix is fine and everything is covered, but I just found it a little too glossy really. The low ground has this very typical sub bass that I thought for a moment was actually going to be like an organic electronic funk bass, but unfortunately all we got was this sort of like really boring typical trap like sub bass which all pop music artists seems to be using at the moment so it kind of gave me blue balls. The beat is thick and fairly wholesome but it didn't really glisten in that high end as the cymbals are a little bit too compressed for me and that's what happens when you program drums and I think this track could have done with organic percussion funnily enough. Louisa sounds fine but a little too gated at times as she sticks out a bit on her own in that foreground sounding a little bit too clean in the verse in particular when the dynamics are a little quieter. Only a very minor pickup though and to be honest it could range on a different set of speakers but on mine that's just, just what happened. The synths are all pretty boring to me and the lead synth timbre is the only thing even slightly rough in the mix And but unfortunately it's used in that breakdown as a melody rather than actually adding some more harmonic confliction or even development and I think it would have done better and if it was played even homophonically against Louisa's voice I think then you would have finally had some diversity rather than everything sounding so smooth all the time. All in all the production cycle is fine, it's just a little bit dull and it's a little bit safe and it's a little bit stereotypical. When it comes to the musicality of this track, I get that it's meant to be a simple pop summer tune like many other tracks that are being released at the moment during the springtime, but it's a little bit too lacklustre for that. Again, it's very ploddy, a lot like a lot of its competition at the moment. It lacks dynamism and explosiveness, and it sounds as if the entire track is what you'd hear like in a Boots here in the UK or in maybe even a River Island. Uh, the track's progressions never really change on this track. The melodies are very monotonous, and I think Louisa has been pretty much handicapped on this track. She's a very capable vocalist, as I've already said, with a very unique tone to her voice, which she's showcased on many live occasions. Don't strip her back to one of uh, like four bar melody and then just keep repeating it with three or four notes in the chorus to change something up. Uh, she deserves much more than this, I think, melodically. It's not a track that really makes you want to dance or party or get you pumped for a party it's because the tempo is too slow for me and as I've said it's very ploddy and there's no development that ever comes to a head either so it's just very plain it's like background music. When it comes to the lyrics of this track they are really cringe inducing to me and it's more of your wannabe seductive content which you'd expect from many of these baby faced brand new chart singers around, a lot of these ones trying to break into the adult market but sounding a little bit forced. So all in all the track's a bit of a snooze really and I'm a little bit tired of talking about it so I guess that's a good correlation there. So I gave it a G rating of 5 out of 10 which is just completely average. If you like this video then please leave a like, subscribe to see more and I'll see you around next time. Bye bye.